Hey guys, how's it going? This is Silix here, and today I'm gonna be talking about the vocode, vocoder, vocode, vocoder. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that little intro there. Uh, yeah, so today I'm gonna be talking about the vocoder. And uh, it's just going to be really quick and simple just to help you guys get set up and get going here so you can be well on your way to having some fun. Um, so I've got the Evoke 20 PS here, uh, which is Logic's vocoder. And I also have a third-party plugin called Orange Vocoder, uh, which is by ProSonic. I'll um, also leave a link in the description to where you can go and uh, pick this up. And uh, if you don't want to use either of these, um, I will also uh, show you how you can use any synthesizer you want as the as the uh, carrier signal. Uh, so let's get started. Um, okay, so first up is Logic's vocoder, the uh, Evoke 20 PS. You can find it uh, just from the instrument rack right down here. Uh, it's very, very simple to set up. Uh, first thing what you want to do is go to the signal and choose VOC for vocoder and then uh, you want to find out where the audio is coming from. It's either going to be from a track or in this case from a microphone, so it's on uh, input one. I have a MIDI keyboard uh, in front of me right now and if I play some notes uh, you're not going to hear anything because there's nothing to actually modulate it. Um, but if I play and uh, talk at the same time, I actually have to go down to the track here. So now if I uh, play and talk at the same time, then you're going to hear it. So uh, that's pretty simple there. Uh, moving on to the orange vocoder now. Uh, this guy's a little bit easier to set up because there's no signal that you have to worry about. In this case, it's just finding out where the audio is coming from. Again, like earlier, uh, input one from the microphone. And if we play and talk, talk at, at the same, same time, time, then you're going to hear the uh, nice vocoded sound now. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it there. Um, so let's go ahead, I got some pre-recorded audio up here. Uh, so let's go ahead and change our uh, side chain from input one to um, audio two. So let's just go ahead and uh, press play and see what we got here. I don't know what you guys were expecting here, this is just some plain old boring pre-recorded audio. The heck do you want from me? Alright, so not bad. Uh, so let's go ahead, I'm going to go uh, play some chords underneath all this. I'm going to mute the audio so all that we're going to hear is just the uh, vocoded sound after. So uh, let's see what, we, see what it sounds like. Once again, make sure you go down and arm your track. <laughs> you guys were expecting here, this is just some plain old boring pre-recorded audio. What the heck do you want from me? <clears throat> uh, yeah, not bad. That sounds pretty nice. Um, so lastly here, uh, let's let's find out how we can use any synthesizer now. Uh, so you can go ahead and choose any synth you want from Logic, or if you want to go ahead and choose any other third third party plugins, you can uh, load those up now. So I just got FM8 here, just got a nice kind of sounding synth. Just go ahead and play this for you guys now. And how we set this guy up is uh, you want to go down to the inserts here and uh, go down to filter and choose the Evoke 20 track oscillator. So I'll just go ahead and turn this on now. Um, oh yeah, one thing to just make sure is that you, you actually don't have to worry about the side chain on the uh, instrument up here. So you just have to worry about what's going on on the uh, track oscillator. So uh, let's go down to analysis in and make sure this is on side chain and the synthesis in, you just want to leave that as track. Uh, so now, like before, you want to find out where the source audio is coming from. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this loop up here this time. And uh, make sure that our side chain right here is at uh, audio 2, which it is, so that's good. Let's just go ahead and solo. 
whoops, I had to finish talking. So what we have here is just uh, another audio file. So let's just have a listen to how this sounds by itself. All right, uh, so now we'll play it. I just got uh, some MIDI information down here. So let's go and play these two uh, and see how they sound. And finally, let's mute the guitar track up here and we'll see how the vocoded part of it uh, sounds just by itself. All right, so there you have it. Um, that's basically all there is to it. Um, last but not least, uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and experiment with any audio files you have, whether it being vocals, drums, or guitars, or any other crazy sounds you can uh, think of, you know, just uh, have, some, have some fun with it. And uh, if you're working with anything that's melodic, like a guitar or whatnot, uh, you're probably gonna make sure that you're playing the notes that are in the same key as uh, what's going on in the um, audio file. So uh, yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, happy vocoding, and thanks for watching.